and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is obviously one and only Light Liger here, and today we are gonna be talking about that shiny, shiny gold, and more specifically about this project called Gold Mint, which I've talked about on a prior video, but this time we are gonna be taking a bit more deeper dive into this project. What exactly is it about? What is the use case here? How does the ecosystem work? And why should I exactly invest in it? So to put it shortly, Goldmint has two different tokens. You have the MNTP, which is the utility token, and then you have the Mint token, which is basically pegged into the price of gold per ounce. And now that the economies are crashing around the world, gold seems to be a very, very valuable asset to gather because as people print more money, the value of fiat is going down. The purchasing value of fiat is just going down. And that's why a lot of people are buying stocks, they are buying precious metals such as gold. And that's why you kind of want to have a portion of your portfolio to have gold, whatever that is physical gold or something that is pegged into the price of gold, such as the gold mint tokens. So let's kind of dive into the project and some of the numbers behind it. And here we can see a chart of gold price per ounce. And you can see it has been doing pretty well since 2016. And that trajectory is going up over and over again as time goes on, as more governments are printing more money into this world. That's how the supply and demand works. And that, you know, gives gold more value because, I mean, technically it's mined through the mountains and all that, but yes, there's only a certain amount of gold that enters to the market each year, which is limited. So it's not inflating as much as dollar dollars can be printed much as you want, but gold, there's only a set amount of it existing in this planet, which makes it scarce. And it has a lot of different utilities. It can be used on conductive wires, um, astronauts use it on their helmets because it's a great sun repellent. There are so many things you can use gold for, whatever it's jewelry or certain technical aspects. And basically, here's also a chart which you can like count if you had invested, you know, in gold in the last 20 years, and if you had $500 invested 20 years ago, that would be a nice, uh, uh, you know, nice uh, out of a money in today's world if we had invested back 20 years ago. And let's kind of dig into the actual tokens now. So first of all, we have the MNTP utility token, which is basically, that was an ICO in the 2017. There's a supply of 1.6 million of them, currently priced at 23 cents, listed on CoinMarketCap, listed on CoinGecko, also listed on MetaMask, which means that all the KYC information and all that has been provided. So it's actually a legit project. And we have the also the actual first cause and the use case of owning the MNT. So basically, the more gold turnover there happens, which is the mint token, and more MNT tokens you have, more rewards you will be getting. So it's basically a staking type of a system where you will be enjoying dividends based on the transactions that happen on the chain and you get to reap the benefits of the market. And this kind of uh, goes into their custody bot, which we're gonna be talking about in a second. And here's all the metrics you can look at, how much of the fee you will be getting from the pool and how much one MNT basically brings daily in gold. And the second cause is also reduction in the gold transaction fees because it's kind of working through another chain, which we're also gonna be looking in a second. I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to basically use it on the platform. And the third cause is the spread on the gold exchange when um, the MNT is used as a club card selling gold in the gold mint exchange. And then there's the fourth case, which is the custody bot franchising. So basically people who own MNT can basically do a custody bot franchising. And probably is best to look what exactly are these custody bots. This was very exciting. This was the reason I featured it, uh, this project initially on my channel because this is a machine 
that basically when you enter uh, gold inside it, you basically drop in a gold ring or anything else that is real gold inside the machine, you will get that in to your credit card or in cash. So I can sell my gold rings and put them inside to the machine and then basically the machine like does all of this very, very rigorous uh, vetting and, you know, weighs it in and looks at all the aspects of the metal and specifies it. And then it gives you a flat rate in gold price. And this can be immediately transformed into your credit card. And these custody bots are going to become a meta game. You might start seeing them more in airports. They're going to be around in many, you know, pawn shops might buy them. That's where the kind of the use case comes from, where people want to buy these kiosks into their uh, store. And this kind of builds up more trust because the money and the data and everything is delivered from the machine and not the shady pan dealer that you might deal with who are not very good at in inspecting goods that you're bringing them or maybe they're just lying to you about the price oh it's that really that valuable gold and they give you a bad you know price for it and the machine can be trusted a bit more than an individual and that's the kind of the beauty of the machine and obviously they can be operating 24 7 so the pawn shop can be closed or the airport can have one there 24 7 and etc so uh, there's a lot of use case for these types of machines and if you look at some of the charts it's also a lot more cheaper a lot more better um, than the other competitors the other competitors don't allow you to sell gold items to them so it's kind of like a one-way gateway with them so that's where the custody bot is a lot more uh, ahead of the market so to speak and let's now look into the actual. And now I will be showing you how to swap the utility token into the mint token in their platform. And after that, we're going to be selling the mint token. So the first thing we need to obviously have is MetaMask open. I have already also added the token here on the actual platform. I have currently 100 MNTP, which I'm going to be exchanging into mint. And next up, we're also going to need to have the actual Mint Light Wallet open, which is the their own type of uh, extension, basically, where they have the Mint blockchain basically operating. And we're going to be exchanging 100 here, and I'm going to be accepting the conditions above, and then we're going to be clicking Initiate the Swap. And obviously, there's a crazy transaction fee right now here. And I'm going to be choosing the lower one because we're not going to be paying the crazy amount. And now we're going to be having the MetaMask notification going on here. And it shows everything that's going to be happening. And we're going to be changing these numbers all together. And now that I have tweaked some of the numbers given by the MetaMask, I'm going to be confirming that as well. And we're going to be waiting for the actual trans transaction to take place in the blockchain. And after some time, I finally received my transaction to the Ethereum wallet and I can see the actual USDT balance here on my MetaMask. This was the amount of gold we sold earlier and now it's basically deposited in my Ethereum wallet. And it may take some time to actually get it because the Ethereum network is very congested right now. And, you know, it may take some time because it's a very slow network altogether. And in case you have any questions about the process, in case this video wasn't clear enough, you can always ask these questions on their customer support on their website. You don't need, need to even log in to the website to access this basically and all you have to do is ask them the questions that you need regarding the mint blockchain or the transfers and the KYC and all of the things um, that you may be pondering after this video 
And in case you're interested to know where to buy the token, you can acquire it on a couple of exchanges right now. So in the centralized exchanges, we have Yobit and Livecoin as options. In case you want to go the decentralized route, you can find it also on Bancor and IDEX. It is also available on Uniswap and other decentralized exchanges which allow free listings. So you might want to find the actual best price. And after you have bought... Uh, the MNTP tokens, make sure to basically uh, stake them on the platform so you will be getting that gold reward for those holdings. And all other questions regarding the proje project can be found on their website. There's profit calculators here on their website and how much you will be getting per MNT and how much you will be getting per MNTP and everything regarding also can be found in the description down below uh, from the links that I have provided. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this sponsored review and I will see you guys next time whenever it may be.